Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing a brand new series. This is a game called Knock Knock that many of you guys probably saw over on Markiplier's channel like a year ago. Um, I was actually gifted this game by my very good friend Captain So, aka Sonya. Thank you so much Sonya for this game. I've been looking forward to playing it for a while. This is the perfect month to do so because it is October, it is Halloween. So I'm very, very excited to play this. This game basically... Doesn't, it doesn't really have a story as far as I know. I couldn't find anything really about it. Um, I saw that people were really pissed off in the uh, Steam comments. People were not giving out spoilers or anything like that, but they were saying that there's a lot of randomly generated things that happen in this game that makes it almost a rage game, which I thought was perfect because we did just beat Bit Trip Runner 2, so we had to replace that rage game with another rage game, this one horror-themed. So anyway, you play as the lodger, you live in a house, and that's really all I know, so... Let's go ahead and get started. Um, previously saved progress will be lost. Yes, we'll continue. I just jumped into the game for about a minute to get some sound test footage, and that was about it. I didn't get to see anything too creepy. Uh, there were some cool ambient noises, that's for sure. And there's this cool little cutscene. Someone's knocking on the door, or like bouncing a basketball against his house. And he is uh, really into himself in that reflection. He, he needs some sleep. You definitely need some sleep. Yeah, it is not a good look, man. It's a bad thing. Also, there might be some background noise because my cat is being a big fat douchebag and he is jumping around and slamming into stuff. Something woke me up. I love his little voice, by the way. It's like... <laughs> oh, look at that spooky tree. Spooky. Did the door open? I don't know, man. Very cool looking game. Hard to find, yeah. By the way, uh, speaking of my friend Captain So, go follow her on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can do so. She makes amazing artwork. Just wanted to put that plug in there. <laughs> yeah, you look exhausted, man. Gotta do something about that receding hairline as well. Not judging or anything, but maybe try a different hairstyle. Oh, cool, look at me. Okay. As if something is someone is pounding a hole in your poor skull, huh? Poor guy. Alright, so I'm creeping through here. Alright, so you can interact with things with the space bar. What? Light bulb exploded. Probably not a good sign. And oh I'm terribly tired. I've even started to sleepwalk last night. I woke up standing right here at the door. Yeah, you might want to get that checked out, buddy. If it hadn't been bolted, I would have ended up outside. At night, this door has to be locked securely. Why is that? I know there's some aspect of avoiding, like, monsters. Oh, God, this does not look like a nice place. Um, so I'm assuming that's why he wants to keep that locked. Oh, it's, it's really cool. I like the graphics in this game. I'm exhausted. I just can't fall asleep. And then in the dark, I keep seeing some strange thing. Just one thing? Probably strange things. By morning, the nightmares are always gone, though. How much longer until sunrise? I, I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Probably that weird clock face there. All right. Keep holding space. Turn on some lights. Cool. So we're turning on lights in the house. That's probably good. Monsters probably don't like the light. Wait a minute. What happened to time? It feels like time is standing still. Look at that moon poster in the background. It looks like it's yawning or in pain. Why doesn't night ever end? Something is wrong, or something, I think is what he said. Uh-oh. Someone was knocking on the door? Um. Go away, Girl Scouts. I don't want to... What the hell? That looks like my face. Hi? Uh, E or up. Okay. I can dig that. Oh, it's winding up the clock. I can wind up the time, too, if the morning is not coming to me. I'll move myself and my home towards it. Okay. I dig that. I like the art style. It looks a lot like a cool cartoon that I'm playing. Oh. Uh. No. No, 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 no. I was telling you, Girl Scouts, I do not need any delicious fudge brownie cake uh, things, whatever. Uh-oh. I did not want to do that. So the sound of knocking came from here. How did I manage to unbolt it and not lock it again? I don't know. I don't need any of your Samoans or whatever the hell those cookies are called with the caramel and the chocolate. Those are delicious. And the coconut? I love those. It's frightening to go out at night. Something, something, something. Uh-oh. 
Uh, was I supposed to go out? He just said it's frightening to go out at night, and I just went out at night. Also, my cat is destroying something in the background, which is wonderful. It adds a little bit of that creepy jump scare factor. Press up or down. Okay. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, so he, uh, he, he walks really, really damn fast. Am I supposed to be out here right now? I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do in this game. I have no idea. I can see why people consider this kind of a frustrating game because I'm there's spooky trees look like they're grabby hands and I got a cool candle. Am I looking for something in specific? Am I supposed to be changing? First of all, I don't know if I'm supposed to be changing. I'm just waiting until it says press up or down, and I do so. But I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be looking for anything while I'm out here. What was that noise? Creepy ambient knocking noises. Hello, spooky tree. Is it going to get, like, Evil Dead out here, or one of the trees going to attack me? Ooh, what's that? Is that a house? Hello? I would like to enter. Now I'm the Girl Scout. Would you like some cookies? Oh, what the hell? Um, what is this? I got five-year-old's painting, or drawing, I guess. Not really a painting at all. Probably more of a drawing. I hope I did what I was supposed to do. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know how to play this game. Uh, press ear up. Oh. Oh. What's that noise? It's the clock ticking. I'm finally awake now. Okay. And as usual, in the early hours of the morning, it'll be sunrise soon. It's good. And for now, I'll just check if everything's alright. I dreamt that the front door was unlocked. Okay, so that was a dream sequence, that first part. Someone was knocking, I had to get up and look. Then I regained consciousness in the forest, and I could hardly find my way back. Yeah, well, what was I? I don't even know what I was doing in the forest. I just walked around randomly. All right, press space to turn on the light. So we have hiding spots, which is always going to be interesting. So the hiding spots, I'm assuming, are going to come in, you know, handy when there's, like, monsters. Finally, everything's in its place. I can see it clearly. Oh god, that moon diagram is horrifying. Something is wrong with my head. I'm still half asleep. Yeah, well, me too, man. Join the club. Can I in- Oh, hello. Man, that thing spawned right next to me. That was creepy. Am I supposed to have the lights off while I'm doing this? Excuse me? Uh, why am I hiding my face? All I need is the last until sunrise dawn will put everything in its place. Oh, I can hide behind the telescope. I get it. Let's go up to the creepy attic, because that's always good in a horror game. I don't even recognize my own home. Why Why is does it look so empty? I'm assuming you meant, why does it look so empty? It's probably just my eyes going bad. My eyesight's getting worse and worse after dark. It doesn't matter. I only have to wait a little bit longer. Soon, it'll be daybreak. This game has got a lot of great atmosphere so far. I really, really dig it. I like the style. I like the animation. I like the, uh, the idea. Just a minute, I'll wait for my eyes to adjust. Okay. I don't know why you told me that this time. What's this? Am I unlocking this door or am I bolting it shut? Keep the baddies out. Oh. During my nightly rounds, it's vital to turn on the light in each room for a little while. It's the only way to put everything back in order. Let me back in order. Is it because he doesn't recognize his house and I'm re putting back together his house? Scientifically proven fact if the home is kept in order, then the nightmares will go away. Oh. Oh, does he have, like, OCD, maybe? You have OCD, and it's making him freak out a bit and experience horror stuff. And then because... Oh, ah, don't do that, Mr. Clocky Windy Thingy. I know you're good for me and my receding hairline. Uh, but don't do that. Don't do that. Don't spawn right in front of me. That makes me scared inside. I'm going to have to make pee. Uh, so maybe he has, like, OCD. Wait and watch. What you, oh! Oh, shit, what the fudge is that thing? It turned out to be nothing. Daybreak is very close now. I just have to survive until dawn. What do you mean, nothing? That was a dude with a box for a head. Do I want to go that way? I don't think I want to go that way. But I might. Oh, he's still there. I see him. I faded away. Oh, God. Oh, my penis. Um. Okay, none of that. Hi, giant eye in the sky. Pie, lie, lie, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, that's right. What the hell just happened? Why did I get cracky hoops all over the place? And why is this door closed now? How dare you, ghosts? I'm the one who's the master of this damn house, and you assholes are not gonna... What? What the fuck? Why did that... 
I'm just trying to open this damn door, and that animation interrupted my door opening skills. Oh, that's a nice creaky noise of fun. Ah, oh, balls! Did you close this door again? Listen up here, Girl Scouts. I swear, just because I did not buy the peanut butter double fudge cookies from you doesn't mean that you can come into my house and play pranks on me because I'm a very busy man with a very crazy hairdo and you have no idea what I'm going to do to you. That sounds bad. I should probably not say that aloud. That's probably a bad thing to say aloud about a bunch of Girl Scouts. I'm on a list somewhere. What? What, what was the whispers? You, I, I'm not sure if you guys could have heard if you heard that, but there was a a creepy there's creepy lady whisper going on. Lady, oh hello, other, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, we're going, we're going, we're running, we're running. Everything's okay. Everything's all right in the light. It smells like damp earth. I don't know if that's what that smells like. That smells like fear. Maybe the damp earth is because I'm peeing, and you can. You can smell it on the earth. Wait. Did she just, she just said wait? Oh god, I'm gonna hang up on my bed. Is she coming this way? Bitch, I swear, I got two hiding spots. I got a telescope and a motherfucking bed. And I'm not afraid to hide behind either of them. Oh my. Okay. Okay, the clock's almost up. Clock's almost up. I think that's a good thing. I don't know. Is it am I gonna win? Did I win the game? What happened? What what happened? I only turned on like five lights. I'm not very good at roaming the dark evil house. Hide and seek in the dark. This is a test of courage, so you shouldn't really hide when you play. Just try to f play fair and wait for the game to end. If the seeker sees that someone is hiding, everything will start from the beginning again. What? The key is you have to guess how the seeker interprets the game. So if he says to someone, you're hiding, but that person is standing in the open, that it is not about being seen or not. Um, excuse me? You're gonna have to... Ugh, oh, got the burpees, guys, sorry. You're gonna have to start speaking regular talk soon. So what the... That one took me, like, what, eight minutes to complete that one? I don't... I don't know if the nights get longer... Oh, this game is weird, though. This is really bizarre. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. All I know is that I'm going to fix every damn light as soon as I walk in the damn room. This does not look like a good layout so far. Oh, what the hell? Show me the full... Oh, what? Wait, why that that one turn on? In general, it's best for the psyche to sleep soundly in the pre-dawn hours, but lately I've been awake and restless. Yeah, you look pretty restless, man. So I decided to spend these hours checking on my house. Let's see if all the rooms are still where they should be. But what I was trying to say earlier was, uh, if he has OCD, it makes a lot of sense. Because um, if you have OCD, uh, a very big part of it is you get a lot of anxiety if you are... Uh, if anything's out of order, a specific thing in your life is out of order, uh, whether that be the order of your house, your furniture, your possessions in some kind of way, uh, the order of things that you touch or look at or speak to, um, anything like that um, could be the issue here for this guy. All right, let's wind this clock up. So this looks like it's the way to win. It's Uh-oh. Thank goodness the morning is getting nearer. Um... So that could be what, what's going on. Maybe these are all hallucinations. Maybe, uh... Oh, why? God damn you, Girl Scouts. Am I supposed to go out now? Uh, I didn't open this door. No one is alive, uh, is alive out there who could have snuck in. What do you mean? Did you kill everyone out there? And no one whose mind could have called me outside. The only path here is the one that goes around my house. Right now, I can go check that there aren't any new ones. I'm not sure what you're speaking about, sir, but I guess we'll wander around. So that's his house silhouette. So that's what we go back to when we need to find new stuff. I'm not sure. So is this the dawn, technically? This is when the monsters aren't going to be here? I'm not really quite sure. I still don't know how to play the game. I don't know what I'm if I'm doing anything wrong or what I'm doing wrong, if I am doing something wrong. That's where you guys come in without spoiling the game. Definitely, I'm absolutely open to tips, uh, tricks, etc. This game seems really cool so far. I really like the style. I love the atmosphere. The monsters look very, very creepy. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, what the hell? Is that a little girl? Hello. Where'd you go? Where'd she go? 
What the fudge? Come on, I was going to go be neighborly and say hello. She was one of those Girl Scouts on the cookie. She didn't want to get caught. I knew it. That little asshole. All right, we'll find her again. Just going to roam through the woods. Find the little girl of funness. Little girl, I would like to buy some cookies now. I'm not. Just a weirdo. It sounds like a woodpecker. Yeah, there's like birds and stuff, so maybe this isn't as sinister as I thought it was originally. Does it, the gnarled, uh, angry, teethed uh, tree people are a little bit creepy, but, you know, I'm not going to judge them. It's not their fault they were born that way. They were born that way, you know? So, alright, roaming the woods. This is the path that goes around his house, apparently. God, it is quite the long path. I thought I just heard something. Am I, am I just hearing things? Am I a crazy person, too? Am I not hearing the right things? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's my house again. Okay. Well, I guess we can go back in. I saw the little girl. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do there or if there's anything else that I should be doing. Um, so this looks like... Oh, okay, so it goes house, like exploring, and then the eyeball is like the sleep time when I have to turn on the lights, and then it's house, and then sleep time again. Actually, guys, I think I'm probably going to end the episode here. Uh, just because I don't want to continue yet until I figure out what I'm doing. I don't want to screw everything up immediately. But this game has a great style. It's so unique. It seems like a lot of fun. I like the gameplay mechanics so far. You know, it's kind of got the hide from the monster amnesia style thing going on. Um, I'm assuming some sort of like sanity esque issue when there's like the weird cracks around the screen. Uh, you have to, you know, wait out your survival and make sure the clock gets wound up all the way. Uh, but. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I love the art style. I love the voice acting, if you can call it that. You know, going blah, 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 end of the mic or whatever the guy does. But, man, I like that a lot. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, though, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.